Hello, welcome back to another video. Right, okay, so Brookside has been on STV Player for two weeks now, and it has currently smashed one million views on the streaming channel. Behind me is Lime Studios, and there is the old Brookside Parade. Now, I thought I'll come down to Brookside close and do the intro for this video, but I thought while I'm in the area, why not just drop around to Lime Studios and just film the video at the back of uh, the old parade. So recently, I got sent a link by a subscriber, Helen Jones, and she said, have you ever seen this storyline? And up until now, I completely forgot about it. And it was an outbreak of some virus in the close. And it was so reminiscent of the lockdown and COVID-19 and stuff like that. There was things like face masks. They were asking for face masks, uh, social distancing, have you washed your hands and all that. Now, the YouTube clip you're about to see is put together by someone called Glad You Remember, YouTube channel called Glad You Remember. The main clip's still a copyright to Channel 4. So as I say, with views smashing 1 million, now fans are sort of crying out for a remake of Brookside. I don't know if that's a good idea. I think it's just best left watching what we've got at the moment. So yeah, but today's video is just really about did Brookside close or Brookside predict COVID-19? <laughs> Nasty, unpredictable, very contagious little bugger. Have you been keeping those hands of yours clean? The bionic plague! Bring out your dead. Bloody hell, a killer virus. It's often said this. A plague round here. I want this whole area cordoned off. Just leave the milk there, will you, mate? Bit of a problem on the close. It's only a virus, isn't it? It's just a bit of flu. Why could you spread the virus? More people sick or dying? So it's one rule for us, is it? I've had the virus and I'm over it. I've got the all clear now. There's helicopters and all sorts out there. Do you know that? It's the army keeping us in. We're all part of some experiments or something, do you know? Who's it gonna claim next? Where in God's name is it all gonna end? I want some of those face mask things. You know what doctors wear? You can get them. I've just been talking to the communicable diseases guy. Now, there's been no new cases for three days, so it looks like we'll be able to lift the cordon. I think it was rats myself, like the bionic plague. I reckon it was rats eating away at that body under Irene's patio. Hey, don't come too close. But how do we know it's safe? Yeah, I mean, the virus could still be incubating in whatever it is they incubate. Bloodstream. Well, all our tests have been negative throughout, so it looks like they've given us the all clear. Well, if there's nothing to be alarmed about, why are they still wearing masks? Well, just for their own protection, Ron. I think we'd have all gone mad if that quarantine had gone on any longer. I reckon that the minutes of this meeting should be sent to the government. This can't be allowed to happen again, Bing. No, you're right, Ron. I think Parliament should be informed of what we've all been through. Never mind Parliament. We should send this one straight to John Major. Because if it is a cover-up, people well, he might know anything about it. It's a fact that there are millions of unknown virus strains throughout the world, and the medical profession cannot be sure where, if, or when another could strike. I know it's claimed it's victims, but we really should be counting our blessings. Things could have been much worse. We can't live our lives in fear of this happening again. I mean, we could be knocked down by a bus tomorrow. I think we must just appreciate how lucky we are and carry on where we left off. 